somebody open to Ephesians 4.32? Everybody open your Bibles to Ephesians 4.32. Israel, where's your Bible? Open it. This Bible is not good. This is contraband. From now on. Say what now? I'm telling you. Can be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God and Christ forgave you. Sorry, you didn't. <coughs> Can be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God and Christ forgave you. So you can explain what that is saying. So saying that you should forgive others because God forgives, forgave all of us, like even though we didn't deserve it. Are you saying that sometimes you should forgive others? No. When should you forgive others? All the time. Okay. Who has Proverbs 15 verse 1? Okay. A, 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 a soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up hate. Can you say it again? A soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir it up in you. Okay, who can explain what that's saying? When you're speaking soft to someone, it like shows that you're not angry at them, but like when you're shouting at them, it shows that like you're not happy. Okay, so what do you think that has to do with forgiving somebody? Can we revisit that scripture and have have us really uh, have other people explain it again? I think we're we're not quite there yet. No, uh, Proverbs fifteen one. Proverbs fifteen one. So what does what does that mean? A soft answer. A soft answer turns away wrath. So there's wrath here, and then there's somebody with a soft answer. The soft answer turns away the wrath. Does that make sense? So I need somebody to explain that. So picture, do it like this. Picture two people. One person has the wrath, and the other person has the soft answer. What do you do with, who, what, what, what's the action? The person who has the soft answer, what are they doing? Yes. They're being polite. They're, but they're speaking it, right? Mm -hmm. So the soft answer that is spoken turns away wrath in the other person. So can you explain it? I said, can somebody explain that? Like how, yeah. So like when, when you're speaking to someone, when you're up talking to them softly and talking to them nicely, it makes their wrath go away. It makes their what? Go call your mama. Go. Go away, makes them not as angry. Go call your mom. Huh? It makes them not as angry as they were before. It makes them not angry. Because you've done what? Spoke you spoke softly. What is our tendency? What do we tend to do? Somebody speaks roughly to you. What do you? What's the tendency? Copy that. To copy that. <laughs> you, 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 I mean, you made fire for fire, right? Kind of like what me and uh, Ayo did, right, earlier. Right? Even though I was trying to stand up to the bully, right? But uh, he came at me, and I, came, I went back too, right? But if I, I mean, that sometimes, maybe not in this exact situation, but somebody is angry, the Bible is saying, what, what should our response be to wrath? Hmm? You mean? Um, 
What sh- what is the Bible saying in Proverbs fifteen one that our response should be to wrath? Don't 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 give me uh, give me what's in the scripture. Yes, Ibene. <clears throat> Exactly, and that's you know that that the Bible says that turns away wrath. Over to you. Okay, so I'll open Ephesians four twenty six. Yeah, I. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Okay. Yeah. Break it down. So. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Open the NLT version. Let's read another version so that we see if there's a, a better explanation since we don't get that one, right? Okay. Somebody with NLT. You don't know that. 